Hello, how are you? This is Tim, and I'm going to be talking about the series Dim. Pretty good series. Now, I'm going to say right off the bat, it's um, about the evils that uh, white supremacy has done to us in the United States. Some call it trauma porn. I'm going to warn you right away. You all know I don't believe in that because our lives are traumatic. And I face so much trauma. I see so much trauma every day, most of which is people trying to cover it up. That when I see it in my movies and my television shows, it's just another thing. I might be numb. And I don't know if that's a good or bad thing or just a thing. But that's my view on it. But if you don't like that kind of stuff, then of course you're not going to want to watch this. I thought it was powerful in in the sense, I'll say this, it was too long, it was too many episodes, it was kind of slow. And I think they could have cut it down to maybe six episodes, even five. So people who criticize it for that, you don't, there's no need for 10 episode series anymore. Unless they're half hour shows. There really isn't. Um, half hour shows, then maybe you can go 10. But hour, 40 minute, 45 minute episodes, you can do six. Six should be the max. Um, if it's really good and you want to stretch it to eight, maybe, but most things, six is enough. Unless you really got a lot of complex story. So them is basically about a black family who is traumatized in a rural area. I believe North Carolina. And then they are they in the 1950s, I believe. And then they moved to Compton, which was white. Um, I think Kevin Costner grew up in Compton. So who knew Compton was a white was a suburb first? Um, I guess Kevin Costner knew. <laughs> I guess the people who were from there knew. And I've been there. I've been through there. It's still a nice neighborhood. All those neighborhoods in 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 LA, Compton, Long Beach, um, uh, all of the neighborhoods that you see in the gang rivals. We went on a tour there last year, year before the pandemic. Beautiful homes. And the tour guy kept saying, all right, we're going to the slums now. And we we went in this neighborhood. And me and my wife looked at each other. I was like, this is not slum. We can show you slums. <laughs> come to New York City. We'll show you some slums. Okay? Go to D.C. Go to Philly. We'll show you some slums. This is not slums. But it just goes to show you relativity. Um... They thought of it that way. So, um, these couple moves to Compton and the evil of the white people trying to keep the neighborhood white, but also there's a spirit in the house. And they get into where it comes from. And so, the show is basically about the evil that's in this country. That's at the root of it. But the one thing about the show is it shows that it's always a choice. And people are driven by greed or power or the desire to be better than the next group. Um, sometimes it's just wanting to be in charge. And some of it is just violent nature. I want to see those people strung up kind of thing um, which I guess a lot of us have not overcome because we have an animal side or an animal portion and you would think that we would have evolved out of it with all the things that we see and all the things that we have and how I'm able to give this to you even though um, I don't have a stable place to live I still can bring you content that in and of itself should show you that, um, wait a minute, there's more to humanity than just 
the physical side, the animal side. Uh, but we haven't, and it goes back, and we're still there. And the question for the 21st century is going to be, can we evolve out of that? Can we transcend into a level of consciousness where we can continue to exist on this planet and in the cosmos? It's what the Egyptians, I believe, is what the Sphinx is about. Animal on the bottom, human on the top. Um, at least that's one interpretation of that. So that's at the core of the series, Them. Can we evolve out of this animalistic behavior, out of this um, violent behavior? That's one thing. Another thing is when a group of people don't want you, this weird idea that you should force them to accept you because you're human too is something I never understood. And I tried to get people in the civil rights generation to explain it to me, and they really can't. I've never gotten a good explanation for it. And I'm really one of the muckety mucks in the civil rights movement. He just told me maybe we was wrong. What is it? Why do you want to force them? If they don't want you, they don't want you. And that's it. And why do you need them to want to recognize you? I never needed anybody that doesn't recognize my value or my humanity um, to recognize me. As long as I know what I'm doing and I know what my value is. Now you can say, well, Tim, but look at the situation. You ended up where you are. Yes, but still, a lot of people are in the situation I'm in, and um, it doesn't really matter when you're black if you stand up for yourself or not. In this, in in the 21st century, we're all gonna end up in the same situation, the same place, if we don't come out of some of these pathologies. Um. And so, them deals with that, black people wanting white people to accept them. I don't know, it's weird. Um, it's weird for one reason is that we're human beings. As a matter of fact, over our time on this soil, we haven't done the most brutal things. Even if you take all the gang violence from my lifetime, which started when I was a teenager, really um, bad, the crack era. But even before that, it was the heroin ever. But if you take all the gang violence in the black community, all of the black on black crime, all of it, it still doesn't um, come anywhere near the brutality and violence that's done to us and been done to us over time. But go outside and look how many homeless black men there are. Half the prison is black men. We make up 12% of the population, 50% of the prison prison population. I mean, that right there is brutality. Reading levels, low. Math levels, low. Critical thinking skills, um, reduced. And one of the most expensive school systems, state by state, anywhere. That's evil. So, um, I don't understand why we care what they think. We know that we are not the brutal ones. Another reason is people don't accept you when you beg them to. People will accept you and embrace you when you do extraordinary things. In our community, if we supported each other properly... We have the talent to do extraordinary things in every subject, not just art and entertainment, but every subject, every category. And so that's always been weird to me. I say the thing with them is hard. You're going to have to really be tough to watch it. It's drawn out. Um, it's maybe, I would say, four episodes too many. And um, if you're the type that gets angry when you see racism 
done to people, when you see brutality done to people, then it, you're not going to like it. But if you like seeing the concepts of how America was made, how America was maintained, um, it's a good watch. And I always like seeing that because even though we see it in real life, it's been shown to us and exposed to us. I know far too many people who are just saying, yeah, but, and sticking their head back in the sand. So I enjoyed it. Um, just watch an episode or two and see if you will enjoy it. I went on way too long, but I want to say thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other and uh, be safe.